Here's a look at some of our service highlights from July through September. It's been an active summer for the Central Okanagan Economic Development Commission. We responded to over 7,900 inquiries, built two new plain language web pages to keep businesses up to date on federal provincial programs, and also conducted and participated in many virtual events. We worked with our partners in the agriculture and tech sectors, compiling information on each to meet their different needs in this new business environment. We supported several buy local campaigns, including the Young Professionals Collective, Local Love Bingo, which other North American communities have emulated. Our information gathering continues, albeit often modified and virtual. We and our Business Walk partners are adapting to a hybrid program in this COVID climate for the safety of everyone involved. We've built visual resources during the pandemic that will be used for sector marketing to tell the region's story when the time's right. Information provided to the Regional Economic Recovery Task Force allowed members to speak with a unified voice on economic needs to senior governments during the recent UBCM conference. We launched a comprehensive review and realignment of the Moving Forward to 2025 strategic plan, especially in light of our pandemic reality. Our stakeholders and the regional board will share thoughts on a new normal, and a final report will be presented for regional board consideration. Some members of our paid-on-call fire departments in Joe Rich, Northwest Side, and Wilson's Landing helped at the Christie Mountain Wildfire, supporting efforts to protect homes and properties near Penticton at the request of the Fire Commissioner and BC Wildfire. Coming changes to agricultural exclusion applications for private landowners brought 20 valley-wide local government staff together in a virtual regional planning lab to discuss potential regional consistency and format for receiving exclusion requests. The RDCO, Okanagan Basin Water Board, Okanagan Flood Collaboration Project, designed to help the valley become more resilient to precipitation extremes, received an honorable mention in the Excellence in Sustainability category at the UBCM Community Service Awards. And our Emergency Operations Center held a virtual debrief on this spring's freshette response. Lessons learned will be applied for future EOC activations. Following the summer public engagement, the draft Regional Transportation Plan is being updated and refined to incorporate feedback with the final long-range plan to be presented to each local government later this year. Kelowna Regional Transit's modified fall service schedule began following BC Transit's COVID-19 safety protocols to protect passengers and transit staff. Most multifamily properties rely on a range of services from private solid waste collection companies, to better understand the current situation, the RDCO Waste Reduction Office held an online survey for residents and property managers. Information gathered will help develop recommendations for improving service, supporting future recycling efforts, and diverting recyclables from the landfill. In parks, three bridges along the Mission Creek Greenway and the Acorn Bridge in Glen Canyon received major overhauls, adding many more years of service for visitors. Two aging regional park picnic shelters were replaced with modern structures in Raymer Bay and Traders Cove regional parks. Traders also received a new multi-use playground and a new picnic structures in place at West Shore Estates Community Park, thanks to Canada, B.C. gas tax funds. And while physically distanced and safe school interpretive field trips are being held, we also added two-way virtual COVID-safe Zoom programs for Central Okanagan teachers and their classes. We encourage you to follow our real-time highlights on our website, Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube pages.